Hello there everybody, good evening, thanks for tuning in, um, in conversation again, um, we have something different for us this time, which is uh, something that's not from the 90s and in the past, this is very much present day, um, although it certainly harks back to those uh, golden days of grunge and, and the 90s. Um, we have the, the honour and the pleasure of listening to and giving our critique on Battalion of Flies uh, EP that uh, was released today, uh, In Dark Meadows Chaos Reigns. Um, and, you know, I just want to thank CK and Craig and the rest um, for, for giving us that, that uh, opportunity. Um, so, hope you enjoy it, um, listen along. And Martin just wants to say hello as well. Yeah, hi everybody. Uh, thanks for uh, for joining us. Uh, looking forward to this. So uh, you know, I've I've been kind of following this band for a for a year or so. I think since uh, I, I I caught them, uh, I can't remember when I caught them about a, <laughs> about a year ago, and they really caught my attention uh, just um, musically. So uh, I'm dead excited tonight to uh I've, I've obviously listened to it about 30 times now uh over the last 24 hours and uh i'm very excited for you guys to hear it for the for the first time but if i could give you a bit of advice get a set of headphones or uh or connect it up to so your tv where you got some really good speakers because uh the sound production on this ep is fucking epic so <laughs> uh you know strap in let's uh let's uh let's enjoy it yep Definitely. And uh, we will have our draw tonight for the February raffle. And uh, once we've brought our part of the night to the close, we've got a, a short set from Metatone, um, which yeah, you need to watch. It's really, really good. Um, a good laugh, um, but good music at the same time. Um, so we will hit you with a, a double dunt to start with. So we're going to have tracks one and two back to back. Um, so crank it up, get the headphones on, whatever you're doing to enjoy it uh, and just enjoy and then we'll all have a wee chat about it um, and while it's playing, certainly get your, get your, get your comments in um, and let everybody see what's happening. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah. 
There we go. How's that for wow. an, an opening salvo? <laughs> My fucking ears are bleeding. <laughs> ah, it's just, uh, you know, I, I think, you, you know, we, we wouldn't have done it justice if we'd have just played the first track. You know, the, the, the two of them just, you know, it's just one big opening statement for something that's only an EP uh, and five tracks. The the first two just, you know, it's just a, a statement of intent of what's, what's to come, you know. Um, I'm sure there'll be a an LP on the way not too long after this, but yeah. Martin, t- tell us your thoughts on these two. Oh. <laughs> I say, I, I, I just you'll have got my you'll have got my 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 sentiment about the bass and the depth and the the the, the fucking production value in this is just uh, is just stunning and it, it has that I, I, I kind of balance between that's so familiar those riffs and those those you know that that sounds like. Uh, you know, early Soundgarden, that sounds like a bit of maybe later day Metallica, and that sounds like a bit of Alice in Chains from, from Facelift. And you're trying to you're trying to put it all any place and you think, fuck, it's just pulling from all those yep. sources, you know, and yep. it's and it's just dead. It's dead dead now, but uh, you know, with a absolute hacking back to, you know, those uh, those sounds just uh brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. I think the first one cracking opening and then the second one just just layers it, just just layers it again, and just really, really, uh, really, really strong. So, yeah, brilliant. And uh, you know, I know, uh, I think three out of the five songs were written in the last twelve months, and sort of really, uh, sort of reflecting, you know, COVID and and how we're feeling, how we're feeling, yeah, you know, maybe mentally and physically, and a little bit about how they feel about, uh, you know, how things have been handled and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, so, so, some cracking lyrics in there when you uh, when you pay a bit of, bit of attention to it. Uh, listen, I've got, to, I've got to give a shout out, and it was remiss of me to start by not doing it, is giving a shout out to that, which is... Uh, which is absolutely beautiful artwork. I had to say the first time, the first time I saw that when uh, the guys were doing the Kickstarter a few months ago, yeah, uh, was like uh, I, I definitely want a piece of that. So they 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 used a, a Brazilian uh, graphic artist, and I'm going to get her, I'm going to pronounce her name wrong, but I, I think we need to give her a shout out because it's just beautiful stuff. So it's uh, Ju Lido from uh, from Brazil, and uh, she definitely he or she definitely needs a uh you know a, a, a bit of recognition for that yeah. you know just stunning yeah and so, doesn't kind of that sum up how we've all kind of felt in the last 12 months <laughs> i i think uh visually yeah yeah definitely how many of us how many of us have done that in the last 12 months <laughs> you know whether it's been not not seeing your family or not getting mm. to a gig or you not after, getting to see peril jam in mad yep, garden and you much, after a couple of know, bottles of wine uh, uh, absolutely, absolutely stunning. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, usually, uh, uh, so, uh, no, absolutely brilliant. And the next song, Colin, uh, I was talking to uh, CK earlier, and uh, I was asking him what 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 his favourite track of the 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 five were, and yep. uh, and he said it's the next one. So it's the, it's the kind of more sort of melodic. Uh, intro and uh, and build up, so uh, yep. you know I'm keen to get. But th- th- this isn't my favorite. I told him which my favorite was, and I'll tell you later. <laughs> uh, but but this is what music does, isn't it? It it, it, it talks to us all in different ways and uh, yep. and, and and gives us all different messages. So uh, this is the band's favorite. So uh, you know, let's let, let's hear it out. I will hear that. Yep. Um. I just again echoing what you'd said. You know that that. The, uh, I think I actually said it when we done the Road to Grunge Fest review, um, and nothing after this was thankfully on it, um, you know. And I think uh, again, I thank the guys for for giving us that to to put on the Road to Grunge Fest album. But when we were reviewing that, that I, I think I said that at the time. It's you can hear every influence there. You know that the guys like the stuff, and you know that they've grown up with it and everything else. But it's just all came together in a certain way just to, and they've made it their own you know it's new but it's it's got 
that old feel to it at the same time, you know, which it just it ticks all the boxes. Um, I wrote a few things down, just, you know, it, it's just, the first two, it's just powerhouse rock stuff, you know, they're just grunge, powerhouse, going for it. Um, the vocals, uh, brilliant, you know, absolutely, you know, the, the, there's there's a vast array of different kind of styles and, and you know, <laughs> the the usual G clamps on the old uh, you know what's to to get some of those notes um, and <laughs> that uh, the scream you know the, the kind of scream at the end uh, the nothing after this you know is just immense um, a wee bit that I noticed as well that, that uh, in the the breakdown in the middle of clowns it sounded it, I don't know if you know of a band called the Beyond but it just kind of it, it it sounded like something they did, um, you know, but in a, again, in a good way. And you don't hear their, their sound emulated a lot. I don't know if they, you know, the guys know the Beyond or had heard the songs or whatever, but yeah, it just, it, it's just, ah, the, the, the two of those uh, are just immense. But yep, third track, the band's favourite, as Martin tells us. So um, we can see uh, once you guys have listened to it, if, if it becomes your favourite. Um, you might have your favourite already, but remember, comment, let's see your comments, Let the guys will see these comments, um, and, and go and buy it. Battalion of Flies online uh, on Facebook, and the online store, hit the shop now, you'll be able to go and get that and much, much more. So, enjoy the third track, people, and we'll be back. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were still on mute. I thought you were going to go. Uh, what, a, what, a, what a brilliant song. Just, uh, you know, just, it, it just it smashes your fucking brains out for two songs and then it just gives it's giving you this lovely little melodic bridge in the middle of these uh, these five songs, uh, lulling you into a false sense that that's the way the album might finish. <laughs> uh, and, it, and then it fucking tears your face off for another two songs. <laughs> so, uh, you know, lo- I, I can I can see why they I can see why they, they they love it you know it's a it's a it's a beautifully written and beautifully played song you know hats off to them really nice yeah yeah I could you know I can hear that in the charts I can hear that on the airwaves um, it, it's got that appeal you know it, it's you know it, it, again it ticks all the boxes um, for me the again the the, the vocals the lyrics are, are just spot on. I like on on all the songs how that they've kind of layered them. You know that that there's there's wee kind of whisper lyrics in there. There's wee you know just understated, but but you can just pick them out. And I'd been listening to it in the car, um, but now I've, I'm actually listening to it through headphones. I can hear all these little nuances. And again, that's that's down to you know the the production and and the guys that they got involved on it. Um, We've got a, a wee group, the wee SOS Records group that we talk on, and the guys were were, were praising CK and Craig, and that you know, uh, just on on the production, and uh, we we all agreed that it makes everything else that everybody else has done sound shit, you know. <laughs> um, um, but, but, but but we can admit that, you know. Um, but yeah, that that's that's what happens. But it, it's amazing how the guys came by this and how they got to do it. And again, it, it just shows you that the the power of the people. You know, they they put a Kickstarter out there, um, in order to to get this done. They they had the concept, they had the the songs, they knew what they wanted to do, um, but they just didn't have the the means uh, or all the means to 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 realize. You know, and they they put it out there to people, and the people as they've always done for us martin and and will hopefully always continue to do they they came through they raised the money um and that managed you know that allowed them to to get the 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 guys on board that that made it sound so so awesome you know it, it just uh again i say it time and time again we both say it time and time again but it, it is astonishing what what people will do when when you know when you ask of them what you want uh, absolutely. I, I mean, I keep saying that you know the 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 power of the people is uh, is greater than the people in power. You know, you we can you know you can do a lot with uh, you can do a lot with uh, a, a movement. You know, a few hundred people or a few thousand people. And uh, you know, listen, I, I bought into the Kickstarter uh, very early on because I because I love the stuff that they were doing prior, and it's just it's so rewarding that you know you 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 know you put your thirty or forty quid in to to help music yeah you know um get out there in front of people and then sit here tonight you know and and, and talk about music that you know in some small way and i you know i you know, i'm not any engineering and music production mm-hmm. and all that sort of stuff i just i just like hearing stuff uh and just to hear new 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 metal new grunge alt rock stuff coming out yeah. uh of scotland that, that I had a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit, uh, to, you know, to uh, to play with. <laughs> tiny little bit. Oh, my. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a, little, a little bit of... Um, a little bit of input into it was, uh, was good. <laughs> a little bit of input was, uh, was good. <laughs> Got that, so, yes. Uh, um, so let's... Uh, Let's move on to the raffle, Colin. <laughs> yes. So again, the the peop- the power of the people. Um, so we had two great prizes donated. Um, two uh, different images of of Chris Cornell. Um, one uh, a wood burning by Heather Lauriston, which is you know you've seen it, you've seen the time lapse of it. It's brilliant. Uh, and also the um, it looks like a kind of watercolor print. Um, yeah, well, well, pain. Correct me. So I think it, it, correct. It, it, who who it, was it that donated that? It escapes me at this moment in time. So that was uh, that was Anna Anna Miller. Anna Miller. Uh, who, 
Uh, Sorry, Anna. I, I, I think uh, I think what she said was um, I bought two of these by mistake. Right. <laughs> so so uh, we've been there, done that. So uh, you know, thanks, thanks, Anna. Thanks, Heather. Yeah. Thank you know, you. really, really, really cracking uh, individual prints. So uh, you know, Stephen, uh, the the new uh, banker in SOS. Uh, he's uh, he's the new money man. So thanks everybody for sending money to him and well, not me. Well, offshore uh, account. I'll, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> our offshore account, accountant. Uh, uh, so we raised uh, uh, just shy of three hundred pounds uh, off the back of those, which is which is brilliant. You yeah. know, I really, really, uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, you know, Colin and I know as much as you guys how fucking tough it is just now uh and every every penny's a prisoner uh yeah. especially especially through january and february so for every single one of you that gave us a donation uh really really appreciate it so we've got 172 numbers so i need to juggle between sc screens here colin okay okay so uh you know, so i'll do a random number generator right. uh and, and uh, it's between one and one seven two, and I know this is probably going to be round the wrong way on the screen. But if you see, oh god, that's not going to work, is it? Well, oh, no, it's giving me this. <laughs> Shit. Hang on, how do you? You need to turn it's your. It's not good. Turn, turn, your, turn your background. Yeah, off. I need to change. I need to change it to nothing. How's that? There we go. Uh, so. Uh, it's one to a hundred and seventy-two. Can you see that? Back a wee bit. Yep, see it there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. One to one hundred and seventy-two. Uh, generate, and the number is one one one. One hundred and eleven. See that? Yep. All the ones. One hundred and eleven. One hundred and eleven is. 111 is Grant Jameson again. <laughs> did he not win the last one? I think he did. He? No, he no, no, it was Craig, Craig McElwraith that won that. What well, was so Grant Jameson? So Grant... I, 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 I think you just, uh, I think you just put your money in this afternoon, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, Jamie Bar. <laughs> well, that's, so, <laughs> money, money goes to money, as they say, and, and I, I don't mean that that he's got lots of money. But Grant uh, done some amazing things last year, and he's going to do some more this year. Um, yep. He done a the one million step challenge uh, for Diabetes UK um, last year and uh, raised a lot of money. I can't remember exactly, but it, it was a lot, a lot of money. Um, and. <laughs> Four and a half fans. Yeah. I I was and I, again I don't think he'll mind me saying, but um he lost a lot, a lot of weight in the process. Um, you know, he he was uh, type two diabetic and I think virgin on going type one and he decided to, to turn things around and make money at the same time. So he's uh, he is literally a shadow of his former self, um and he's doing great things in the wake of that. So that's that's great, great that he's won it. Um, so well done, Grant. Well yeah. done. Well done, Grant. Appreciate it, man. And uh, I remember the story. You, I remember that story. It's just come back to mind what you were what you were saying there, Colin. Mm -hmm. That uh, that that you've done that, yeah. and uh, you know, absolutely amazing achievement, Grant. So uh, congratulations, yeah. hats off, mate. And, so and we, uh, he's, he's we part we of he's part of our team. He's part of our team for this year as well. So which yes. is great. Uh, so we'll be in uh, we'll be in contact uh, and we'll get this uh, stuff. Uh, Heather, uh, who's doing the wood burning grant, has left a space at the bottom of the wood burning, so it's not finished yet. And she's left that space in case you want to put anything in it. So if you want some lyrics burnt in here or anything you want, or you just want the t-shirt filled in, uh, just let me know and I'll I'll let Heather know. Uh, how to how to finish the burning off, and then we'll get it uh, get it sent off to you. But uh, again, well done. Yeah, outstanding. Well done. Well cool. done. Um, I'll tell you the marbles after after the songs. <laughs> um, I right, so just I might have uh, dreamt this, but I think it was two, was it two prizes like two things one prize? It was yes, wasn't it? Or is it? 
Yeah, yeah. So aye, it, yeah. it was two prizes. Aye, uh, aye. Uh, coming from different people. Aye, so uh, one, one lot. We, we get both. <laughs> I, yeah. could, I couldn't remember. One or two. Just in case the we, winner takes it all. I'd missed a cue. <laughs> right. <laughs> so mo- moving on, we've got um, track four. Um, so batting down the hatches and uh, Martin will grab some wine, no doubt, and we'll have track four. This one is called Thoughts and Prayers. No one made me turn the car around And head into a crowd Today was a good day No man or religion Made me kick the fallen When they're already
Thoughts and prayers, or just your thoughts? Uh, that's my favourite song out of the five. Uh, it was getting a lot of love in the comments there, so yeah. yeah. And it's it's kind of I've been kind of I was talking to CK earlier about what their favourite was, and I'd told them that that was my favourite, and he was like, "Oh, right, okay, that's probably not our favourite," you know. And I'm like, "Well, that's what that that's music, isn't it?" It's, ah, uh, it's and I'm. Objective. I think it's. I like. I, I'm quite a simple man, where, you know, and I, I, I like. Uh, I like guitar and I like drums, and I think that that kind of is more a sort of classic rock song, for me. Yeah. And that's why I like it. It's got you know the guitar in it is less grungy and more sort of eighties, more late eighties rock. Yeah. Kind of Guns and Rosesy. Type, type, type vibe to it, uh, and obviously that was that that was the big influence on me, in the, in the eighties was uh, was Guns N' Roses, so um, I, I think it was I think it's nostalgia mm -hmm. that's uh, that, that's possibly making making that stand out for me being you know an elderly gentleman compared to most of his, so yeah, uh, yep. I mean so uh, I I love it. I, I mean every time I, I every time I listen to it, uh, that's the grower on me. That's the one I want to be. Uh, Mm -hmm. That's the one I will to be down the front, you know, uh, singing along to it. To be yeah. honest, uh, uh, so yeah, brilliant. What about I, you? What do you think? I I actually get a more modern feel from it. It, it reminds me a bit of uh, some of the tracks yeah. on on Gigaton. I, I think it's the it, it's got yeah, okay. the, it just got that kind of vibrancy and you know. Uh, I think Andy touched on it as well. Just that deep kind of groove there that you you know you can. You know, bob your head to and nod your head to, but um, I, I, I it's, it is, uh, it's a standout for me. Um, I, I'm still undecided in a favourite because I, I like them all e equally, you know. Um, but you know, I've I've only really listened to it, I listened to it twice in the car, um, and then you know, this is me proper listening through the headphones as as we as we do this. Um, yeah. So, but I the. the you know, I could pick anyone at the moment, uh, but something will probably pop out over time, and you know that 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 will be the one that that sticks. Um, but yeah, yeah, a great track, and you know, as you say, music evokes different thoughts and different memories for for different people. Um, so for those of you that don't know Battalion of Flies, if you're listening to them for the first time, you know that they've been about for for a while. Um, they've done some good stuff, you know. That their old uh, catalog is is on Spotify, and this new album is on Spotify as well. I, I believe it's on other streaming platforms uh, at the same time. Um, and the guys have, you know, they've got CDs. Um, and you know, we would prefer, and I'm sure they would prefer. Um, it, it gets what it deserves, and people own this. You know, the the fantastic artwork. Um. You know, you can have that, and you you know it's yours to own. And I know a lot of people that are in the group are, you know, they like their vinyl, they like their 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 tangible things that they can own and and play. Um, but believe it or not, they're a three piece. They are just a three piece. They are just uh, vocals and guitars, and that's Craig Costello. Uh, Tony Noble is on bass, and C K Gillen is drums and vocals. So, you know. To get the the sound that they get and the you know the the groove that they get for a three piece is just astounding. You know that there's there's bands out there that are raking it in, um, you know five piece bands, you know six piece bands, and to me some of them don't even come close to to producing the sound that these guys have got. Um, Tommy Gleason, uh, who mixed it, you know put a bit of additional guitar on there, um, and Romesh. Dog, Dog and Goga, Goda, Dog and Goda. Sorry, Romesh, Romesh Dog and Goga, um, mastered it, you know. So uh, and Jamie Turnbull engineered it. So those three guys made these three guys, you know, sound even more awesome than they are. Um, so do it justice, and you know, show your appreciation and 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 go out and buy it. Um, you can do that via their page so facebook battalion of flies uh, there's a shop now button and there's a link to their store and you can buy it there and it'll be signed as well and there's some other merch there uh, which looks pretty tasty um t-shirts hats um 
and the likes. So uh, get on it. Um, and I think you can get some of the artwork as well. Um, I think Martin, did you get some art artwork, Martin? Did you get? Some yes, of that? I did. Yeah. I, got, uh, I got one of the I got one of the original prints as part yeah. of the the Kickstarter, and it is beautiful. I will frame it, yeah. and it will be on my wall shortly. Yeah. Uh, stunning. Uh, it's, it's just it makes you go and want to look at our uh, their other stuff. You yeah. know everything yeah. else that, that that he or she's doing. Yeah. I don't know if it's a female. Or a uh, no. But uh, it's it's stunning. It, yeah. It's absolutely stunning. I, it, that that was that. I think it was the artwork that that that, that sucked me in. To mm. be honest, uh, it's just just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, a striking image. Yeah, definitely. Um. So last but not least, um, track number five, one hundred days. Um. Let's listen.
always leave the people wanting more, eh? Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I was just thinking, uh, you know, uh, when I was listening to that there, that uh, they, they clearly penned this in maybe June last year, mm-hmm. you know, 100 days, 100 days into this shite, you know, <laughs> maybe... maybe Maybe they thought we were going to come out of it soon, and we're, we're I think, 365 days in uh, it now. I think we all know? did that. Yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, a proper that that that's a proper metal song that you know all the way through. Just some classic riffs, uh, classic, uh, cla- just fucking classic. Just really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Good yep. metal, metal song. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? I just again, it just the. For five songs, you know, I'd I'd have loved this to have been an album because if that's five songs on an EP, then the, an album of of these kind of tracks would just be immense, you know. Um, but I, I just each, each track just to me, you know, it gets better than than the next, and then by the end of it, you're hooked, you know. There's there's just five five standout tracks as i say i don't have a favorite because they're all great there's not they're all they're all good in their own way um and yeah, tune, tune in next week folks when colin makes his mind up <laughs> <laughs> ah well well I, I, it, it just shows you the, the quality of it the standard you know i i, I can't honestly say yeah, yeah that's the standout track because they all stand out for me um you know that's that's just my my honest opinion no, listen. I crack in uh, I crack an EP, and obviously, you know, we we are, we are, you know, kind of reviewing it and and, and and talking about it, and I, and I, and I do love it. I think there's some cracking songs, and you know, particularly uh, coming out from a Scottish band uh, in 2021. Uh, but here's a question for you, Colin: What would you give it out of ten? What would I give it out of ten? Well, there's only five tracks, so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Five out of, uh, out of ten, it's got to be banging the door of a nine anyway. Um, the, the I would give it a ten if if it wasn't an EP, <laughs> it was an LP. Um, but that's me just being ultra ultra critical, you know. But I think the guys are just teasing us, you know. They're teasing us. They put it out there. They'll, I'm sure there's yeah. more to come and soon. But yeah, it's it's a solid solid nine. Yeah, no, totally. I, I agree. I think it's uh, it's just really refreshing, really exciting music to, to, to come out uh, just now. Uh, and for the guys to do this over lockdown and over COVID is uh, is astonishing. So, uh, you know, you know, eight and a half, nine from me. Brilliant. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I've been playing it to death over the last, uh, the last 48 hours and uh, it's not boring me. It's not I'm not skipping any of them. I'm listening to them all. I'm enjoying uh, every single one. So, uh, so that score might go up uh, as as I as I listen to it more. And I can't wait, genuinely can't wait to see them live. Right. Uh, and and you know, for me, knock out ten or eleven tracks on a on a on a on a set for us. You know, Grunge Fest, fingers crossed. <laughs> you know, there is uh, that that it goes ahead. Uh, just be brilliant to see those guys on a stage. You know, I just. Be brilliant. Aye. No, definitely. Um, once again, just kudos to the guys, um, Craig, CK, Tony, uh, and, and all the people involved. Um, well done. You know, the, I, I hope and I pray, and as I've told you guys, um, you know, I, I'll do all I can to push it. Um, you know, I'm Tom Russell is, is behind things, so he'll certainly push it in, in Scotland. Um, and I'm I'm sure once the word gets out and you know people start streaming it on Spotify, um, they'll realise that you guys are not that you were ever away, um, but you know you're back and you know you're you're back in business and you know you you've updated the, your sound, you've updated your outlook, and as uh, as CK says, um, you know this this pisses all over the old stuff, you know, and the old stuff was good. So that yeah. just that that just gives you an indication of how good this is in their estimation and and in ours. So um go out. Um well you can't go out. I'm gonna say go out and buy it, but you can't go out and buy it. Go online and buy it. Um Battalion of Flies Facebook page. Yeah. <laughs> Battalion of Flies Facebook page and shop now and you will go to their, their shop and you'll get it. So um 
just give it give it what it deserves and that's that's you know buying it and getting it out there in the public domain fantastic well done guys awesome well done so we will move on um martin was uh dropping little hints there as to what was going to happen across march and april with our, our raffles um so i'll hand you over to him because he has all the information as he was telling me he knows exactly what's in it <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not telling you what's in it no I, I know, I know. you're a bastard <laughs> so I, I'm, I am mega excited about this by the way right? I am fucking mega excited about this so Stephen Duggan our, uh, our offshore accountant has uh, kindly donated a Pearl Jam 2018 stroke 19 mystery box now you you might not all be familiar with mystery boxes but they come from the 10c club and you kind of buy them blind so you you, you pay 200 i think it was 200 dollars or 120 dollars i think it's 200 mm-hmm. 200 quid in total with shipping and stuff like that and basically you can either end up with you know some posters some merch or as one of my friends in america i ended up with a signed guitar by uh, the band we are not raffling that yet uh, <laughs> but we, uh, but we we do have a, a mystery box that Stephen has not touched or taken anything out of uh, and a few sos members uh, myself colin and a, and a and a few other guys have uh, donated some stuff too now, in mystery boxes, you get posters, like tour posters, T-shirts, merchandise, pendants, flags, a whole bunch of stuff that just the 10C sell through the through through the club. So, uh, so we're going to call it the Mega Mystery Box Raffle, and we're going to run it for two months. Uh, we're going to run it over uh, March and April, and we will uh, we'll draw it at the end of April. It's worth. It's worth two thousand pounds. That's what the contents are worth. Okay, so we are going to uh, we are going to put a reserve on it. Uh, so we need to we need to raise a certain amount of money before it actually gets released to auction. Yeah, and that's the value of it. So we need to put we need to put a two thousand pound reserve on it mm-hmm. uh, because it ain't going for any cheaper than that, guys. <laughs> it's it's just not going for any cheaper than that. So it's a, and I know what the contents are. And this might be the this might be the raffle that I actually spend some money on, uh, <laughs> rather rather than taking all yours. It's uh, it's it's astonishing. So I'll put some details out as of tomorrow uh, around uh, around how we're doing it, and we're going to we're going to do it on all the Pearl Jam platforms on uh, on Facebook. So we're we're looking to really ramp this one up and yeah. uh, and raise some. Money. But it's a it's a fucking astonishing prize. It, it really is. I think it's probably, in terms of value, uh, the best we've had in a couple of years. And 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 I genuinely thank Stephen uh, for the for the donation. It's uh, it, it's 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 really appreciated, mate. So uh, you know that's uh, that's March and April's. Yeah. Prize. Yeah. I'm so excited about it. Ah, it's it's a cracker, and and yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. Thanks for for getting involved as well, doing the the spreadsheets and the the accounting side of things um, to free free up Martin to to do other things and and not make an arse of them. Um, <laughs> only kidding. Um, but it's uh, aye, it's a, it's a great donation, and Stephen is forever. You know, you'll see if you ever see the the spreadsheets, his name kind of takes up most of them at times he, he's he's just a top bloke all round um, and you know again thanks for doing that but as Martin says it's an absolutely phenomenal it, f- although he never said it but I'll say it for him phenomenal <laughs> raffle um, hence it's over two months and hence we want to get a lot of money for it now we've spoke to all the admins of other Pearl Jam groups and they're all going to get behind it as well because we know that there's going to be a hell of a lot of interest in this. Um, so we will uh, we will keep it in our own ranks maybe for the first couple of weeks, um, you know, just to, to give you all a head start and get in there um, and then we'll open that up to the, the wider community. Um, so as always, you've got to be in it to win it. Um, but thanks for 
all the donations so far. Um, you know, that's just two months. Two months have gone by already. Is that not frightening? Um, but we're we're a good good way down the road. Um, if fingers crossed, Grunge Fest goes ahead, then great. If it doesn't, then what we're doing with this raffle will go a long way to fill in that void. Um, so you know that, that this is a, a big one. Um, we might have a slightly bigger one towards the end of the year, but um, we'll just need to wait and see. And if you think this is a big one, not like Martin's small one he was talking about earlier, but um, if if you think this is a big one, um, then wait wait till you see the next one. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's more Christmas time, so you need to, you need to get on it for for March and April. So thanks to everyone who uh, tuned in. Um, as as always, it's varying numbers and people coming and going. We we can never get a, a real gauge on on you know what's what's happening and who's who's watching. Uh, I th- I think the bots and the algorithms kind of you know keep us at bay, but we do know that a hell of a lot of people watch these uh, videos after the event because we see the views and we can see it. So, um, you know, if you're watching it in retrospect then you know thanks thanks for watching um and you know set your notifications for the next time so that you can see it live uh, as it happens um because it's got a better feel to it that way i think anyway and uh, so in fact if you miss it when it's live then that's just pants and that's all i'll say okay <laughs> now this is a uh, metatone uh, put uh, a short set together for us um, which is pants, um, but you know, you you can you can make up your own mind about that. Um, so I'll be in the <laughs> I, I'm not saying anything. Um, you'll the be guitars. Able, <laughs> you'll be able to watch, um, and uh, so yeah, enjoy it, people, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Good night. God bless. John, take a note. John, take a note. Thanks. Uh, just that... You didn't write that down. Why are you not writing it down? John, is this thing on? Roddy, can you hear him? Right, have we got to play this SOS Records thing or what? John? Rod? John? Come on. He's... Wait. What are you writing? Have we got to play this SOS thing? Right, good. Let's get on with it. Jesus Christ. Can't get a staff. Hello. SOS Records. We're Metone. This is called Mr. Average. Enjoy.
This is Simple Soul Blues, just for you. This is called Battlefield. Thank you. 
Cheers. Thank you so much, Sounds of Seattle. This has been an absolute pleasure. Take care. Enjoy 2021. We'll see you again soon. Not so innocent.